When looking over the war arc of Naruto, there is one moment in the war that very well could have had a major impact on the story going forward. That moment is when Sasuke Uchiha had his conversation with the Edo Tensei Hokage. As we all know, Hashirama was able to win Sasuke over. However, what if this didn't happen? What if after listening to Hashirama speak, that Sasuke did exactly as he warned, stating that he would destroy Konoha? In today's video for Naruto What If, we're going to take a look at just that scenario. So jumping right in, there's only one trigger point for this scenario to happen, which is after Hashirama speaks to Sasuke. After listening to Hashirama's words, when he asked him for his answer, Sasuke would quickly pause, thinking over the life and suffering of Itachi. But instead of choosing his original answer, Sasuke's rage would build, proving that Tobirama's earlier threats and warnings about needing to kill Sasuke before Sasuke destroyed the village to turn out to be true. With this eternal Mangekyo Sharingan, got activated, Sasuke's chakra would begin to rise to the surface as the purple glow of his Susanoo began to activate. Taking cue of Sasuke's actions, Orochimaru, who had already shown the ability to take control of Tobirama with ease and previously stated after Tobirama flexed his chakra and cracked the walls of the compound, Orochimaru still felt confident enough that he could take control of the dead Hokages outside of Hashirama Senju. Seeing Sasuke preparing to act would force Orochimaru to produce the talismans that would completely overwrite the free will of the Edo Tensei Hokages. All he would need was one quick moment to briefly bind the Edo Tenseis to use the talisman in order to completely overwrite their actions. Due to the gray area of Minato having the QB chakra, and this is a gray area, and due to the fact that Orochimaru had the Hashirama cells after absorbing Zetsu, it could go either way as to if Orochimaru, who's enhanced with Senju cells, would have been able to suppress the QB chakra even for a brief instant that will be all you would need to use a talisman on minato so i'm going to go with the extreme version and say that due to the gray area i'm going to play it safe and say that orochimaru could take advantage of a small window that's needed to completely overwrite minato's sense of free will this will lead to quite the situation to unfold in a one-on-one -on -one battle ems sasuke gets completely washed by hashirama there's no type of contest especially when you look at the fact that even though it's an Edo Tensei at near full power. We're talking about a man who survived the Warring States era where Hashirama essentially was a professional John Wick Uchiha style killer. He was taking out Uchiha on a daily basis from the time he was old enough to walk and shit and be in pampers. Meaning he probably has ways to combat Uchiha that we have not seen before. Let's not even get into the fact that he would also have Sage mode at his disposal. However adding in two flying rides in users and the old man third hokage could make things interesting but i'm still gonna side with hashirama on this now sasuke susano would shoot a giant arrow at hashirama at point blank range with hashirama jumping out of the way of the attack and then back into the streets outside of the shrine after remarking that the curse of the uchiha never seems to go away no matter the era and that fighting is still gonna ensue and that he was wrong about sasuke hashirama would quickly enter into sage mode Given that he likely would have been sparring with Tobirama when they were growing up, Hashirama would absolutely manhandle Tobirama in any type of battle. I don't care how much Flying Thunder God he's spamming. And while doing so, he'd be glaring at Orochimaru, which would make Orochimaru recall his earlier thoughts about needing to be on guard due to Hashirama's immense power and the fact that Orochimaru was basically acknowledging that the first Hokage could raffle stomp him in a battle. Orochimaru would quickly command Sui Getsu to stay at his side, and Sasuke catching on would also command Jugo to do the same. Using the fourth Hokage and Hiruzen Sarutobi as decoys, Sasuke would attempt to fight back against Hashirama. However, just as he quickly discovered when he was fighting against Madara, the massive gap in their power would be too much for Sasuke, especially if Hashirama whipped out his wood style Sage Art 1000 Hands Jutsu. Sasuke has no answer for something like that. <laughs> oh man. He has no answer for that. I don't care. Like, I'm a big Sasuke fan. He ain't got no answer for that. <laughs>
<laughs> While the very one-sided battle raged on, Naruto would exhaust his chakra protecting the Shinobi Alliance from the cataclysm attack of the Ten Tails, which required Naruto to have all of his chakra restored by Sakura while the Alliance stood before Naruto as a shield. The Ten Tails was still going to be spooked by seeing the collection of Biju chakra inside of Naruto to the point where he fires a massive Biju Dama at the Shinobi Alliance. Shikamaru's plan to have the Alliance use Earth-style jutsu to slow down the attack, all while Killer B attempted to shoot multiple Biju bombs at the underside of the Ten Tails Biju ball, all to tilt the attack away, away from the Alliance and alter its trajectory. This plan would absolutely be in danger, and I'll explain to you guys why. Originally in Naruto Chapter 630, Minato arrived at the very last second to teleport the Ten Tails Biju ball away. Seeing that the defense was about to fail, Sakura in this instance would have no choice but to unleash the flood of her chakra by undoing her Byakugo seal in order to jumpstart Naruto's chakra recovery. Naruto originally needed the extra time of the Edo Tensei not only having conversations, but then going on to trap the Ten Tails, all so Naruto could recover his chakra. But given that Sakura would have unleashed her seal in this moment, Naruto's chakra would have come flooding back all the way to the surface, but it should be noted that Kurama would still be needing chakra for Naruto, so whatever chakra Kurama could give to Naruto wouldn't be the full amount they would have had in the original story. Now, this means that Naruto, you have to remember, the sheer difference in size and power between Naruto's one half of the QB and the Ten Tails is immense, so Naruto at no point is going to block a full power Biju Dama from the Ten Tails. Realizing that he can't save everyone, Naruto will still attempt to do so, and he will activate his QB cloaks on all of the Shinobi Alliance members, hoping that there will be enough time for them to escape, but those who are on the front line would not have been able to survive. This means that Hinata, who was standing at the very front of the line, will be blown to bits, leaving no trace of her character behind. Meanwhile, after Hashirama's Sage Mode Amp Wood Dragon Jutsu leaves Sasuke at death's door, Hashirama would casually solo all the remaining Hokage as he began walking towards Orochimaru. After quickly destroying Jugo and Suigetsu, Hashirama would turn his sights to Orochimaru, offering him one final chance to release his control of the dead Hokage. Kages. Seeing that Sasuke was about to take his last breath, Orochimaru would submit to Hashirama's words. Orochimaru only planned to follow Sasuke's will for as long as Sasuke's wind was blowing, and given the fact that Sasuke would have fallen here, I see no reason to believe why Hashirama would have to fight Orochimaru because I think Orochimaru would submit in this instance. Though it would have pained him to kill a young Uchiha, I do believe that Hashirama would have come to the exact same conclusion that he did when he fought against Madara Uchiha, which meaning for the sake of the village that Sasuke did need to die. And if you go back to, I believe, chapter 618, chapter 619 of the Naruto manga, you do have that moment where Tobirama takes a look at Sasuke and he tells Hashirama, I know that you come to the same conclusion as me, that this young boy if push comes to shove, this young Uchiha does need to die all for the sake of the village. And I like the fact that when you go back to that chapter, Hashirama didn't necessarily disagree with it, but he at least attempted to speak to Sasuke first. But Tobirama spoke the obvious question in this moment. Is Sasuke being able to be redeemed something that needs to be put for the village? And we know from Hashirama's previous interactions with Madara that if push comes to shove, he's going to side with the village above all else. With Team Taka dead all around him, Orochimaru would give the Edo Tensei back their free will. I don't believe that he will undo the Jutsu because Orochimaru isn't stupid. If anything, Orochimaru is a survivor. He knows that Madara and Obito's plans mean the end to his own plans and that the Edo Tensei Hokage could be of use to him in order to ensure his survival. The only way he could hope to take down Madara was with the help of the Edo Tensei say Hokage, in particular with the help of the first Hokage, the man who originally killed Madara when Madara was alive. Meanwhile, Kari Uzumaki would arrive at the scene just after Orochimaru teleported away with the Edo Tensei Hokage. Orochimaru and the Hokages would arrive on the battlefield just as Naruto began battling his way 
through the miniature Jubi army. Without Karin Uzumaki there, there would be no way to heal the Faikage, and given the fact that Katsuyu stated that Tsunade was running dangerously low on Chakra, and it was causing her summoning to be undone gradually over time, and that it was nearing its end, by the time that Tsunade dies, the five Kage, who were being healed by Katsuyu, wouldn't have recovered enough of the Chakra in order to rejoin the battlefield. Given the fact that Karin Uzumaki was needed and played a pivotal role in healing all of the Kage, including Tsunade herself. The only major change that would occur would be a huge one, which would be Sakura and Naruto's reactions to Sasuke Uchiha dying. Sakura would be an emotional wreck, knowing that in the end, Sasuke gave into his darkness and that he ultimately succumbed to it and that Sakura wasn't able to save him. I think it'd be really interesting to see how Sakura would react to this, whereas Naruto would be torn between his own grief and knowing that he needed to end the war in order to prevent more deaths of the people that he cared for. With each new development, Naruto would find the battles that wait for him to be increasingly difficult without Sasuke being there to aid him, in particular the battle with the Ten Tails Jinchuriki version of Obito. However, I still see the end result being the same, with Madara ultimately becoming the Ten Tails Jinchuriki after Naruto manages to weaken Obito enough for this to happen. After meeting with the Sage of Six Paths, Naruto was still going to fight Madara, but without Sasuke there on the battlefield, Madara would ultimately still use the meteors as a distraction to cast the infinite Tsukiyomi, which would see Naruto being caught under the Genjutsu due to the fact that Sasuke is not there to protect him, using his Rinnegan amp Perfect Susano in order to shield him from Madara's infinite Tsukiyomi, which means that Kage in turn would be revived. But this is what I want to know from you guys, okay? So do you guys think that Sasuke with this Eternal Mangekyo Sharingan would have been able to take down Hashirama if they were to fight, given the fact that Orochimaru, if you can believe his statement to be true, given the fact that after he saw Toby Rama unleash his chakra, that Orochimaru thought that he could control the remaining Hokage outside of Hashirama, do you guys think that Sasuke, with that level of backup, would be able to take down Hashirama, even if Hashirama goes into Sage mode? I personally like to say that Hashirama would have won, given the massive power gap between himself and all the other combatants. I think the only one that you can make the argument for being able to pressure Hashirama would be the third Hokage if the third Hokage would have been reanimated in his prime. So I want to know from you guys, how do you see that outcome coming? But as so always, guys, if you like anything I had to say, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, share. Thank you so much for watching on to the end. Have an awesome day, guys.